Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft Store error that is 0x8024202020. So if you are receiving this error code while installing any games or application on Microsoft Store, then please follow the steps shown in this video. First step is to try installing it to a different drive. So open Windows settings and then go to system, then click on storage. Now click on advanced storage settings and then click on where new content is saved. Click on it. And from here, select different drive. So if you are using external drive or if you're using D drive or E drive, so this is just an example. So if you are installing it to D drive, then you can go ahead and change it to C drive. Click on apply. So try to install the application or game to C drive and if it's already installing on C drive then you can change the drive and then click on apply and try to install the application or games. Now the next step is to rename WP system folder. Now to rename WP system folder open file explorer on your computer go to this PC open D drive now over here you can see WP system when you try to rename it you won't be able to rename it because you will receive some kind of error message that you are not allowed now so make a right click on WP system folder and then select properties go to the security tab we will go ahead and take the ownership of this folder so go to security tab and then click on advanced now click on change over here and then type in everyone over here everyone and then click on check names then click on ok now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply ok 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 and then again make a right click on WP system folder select properties once again go to the security tab once again click on advanced once again now this time click on add over here and then click on select a principal now type in every one once again and then check names ok now put a check on the box which says full control and then click on ok apply ok ok so now you can rename it make a right click then click on rename rename it as wpsystem.old now still your face problem in that case you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to rename it once again next step is to use xbox app if you are trying to install a game so if you are installing any games open xbox app so type in xbox app in windows search box open xbox app and then search your game in xbox app and then try to install the game from xbox app if xbox app is not installed in computer then copy this link open this link in a browser and from here you can install the xbox app and then use xbox app to download the game now the next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically is on over here. Also make sure set time zone automatically is on. In Windows 10 you will find set time zone automatically. Make sure that is on. And select the right time zone from here in case you are using Windows 11. And then click on sync now. Now once the sync is complete, try to install the application or games. Also make sure right country is selected over here and then try to install the game or application. Now the next step is to update windows. So for this go to the start menu, click on settings and then click on windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. And once update is installed, restart the computer and then try to install the application or games. Now the next step is to click on get updates on Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store on the bottom left here you can see library options. So click on library. On the right hand side here you can see get updates option. So click on get updates and once all the updates are installed try to use try to install the game or application. Now the next step is to run this power cell command. This command is provided in the video description. So type in copy this command and then type in power cell in Windows search box and then make a right click on windows power cell then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening power cell as an administrator click on yes to allow 
Now paste the command over here and then hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. Now during this process, you will receive some errors in red color. So if you see any errors in red color, just ignore it and let the process complete. Now once done, close this window. Now open Microsoft Store and then try to install the game or application. Now the next step is to run WS Reset command. So type in WS Reset in Windows search box and then click on WS Reset. Now this will open this black screen. This will take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store. So the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. Now try to use Store. Now the next step is to repair and reset Microsoft Store. So type in Store in Windows search box and then make a right click on Microsoft Store. Then click on App Settings. This will open Windows Settings. And then scroll down here. You can see the repair option. So click on Repair. And after the repair, try to use Store. Still you are receiving the error message. Then perform Reset. So click on Reset reset and once the reset is done open microsoft store and then try to install the game or application now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall microsoft store so for for this copy this command then type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command this will uninstall microsoft store and once this is done restart a computer and then copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description type in power cell in windows search box and then make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the second command hit the enter key this will reinstall microsoft store now type in store and then try to use store now the next step is to start all these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find windows update in the list make a double click on windows update and then set the startup type as automatic then click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok with windows update selected over here click on restart the service now find microsoft store install service make a double click set it to automatic apply click on start and then click on ok with this selected click on restart the service now use microsoft store now the next step is to delete microsoft store cache file for this open file explorer then go to this pc open c drive open a users folder and then open your username folder and then open app data folder if you don't see app data in windows 11 click on view so then put a check on hidden items if you have windows 10 somewhere over here over here on the top you will find view option click on view and then over here somewhere you will find hidden items so put a check on the box which says hidden items and then open app data then open local then find packages folder open packages now scroll down and find microsoft windows store so here you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. Open this folder. Here you can see local cache folder. Make a right click, then click on delete. Now, once deleted, now open Microsoft Store. Now, the next step is to run inetcpl.cpl command. So, type in inetcpl.cpl in Windows search box, then click on inetcpl.cpl. Go to the advanced tab and then scroll down here you can see use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1 1.3 make sure all four are checked over here then click on apply ok and then open microsoft store the last step is to use media creation tool to update your windows 10 or 11 if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install 
and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps should help you to get rid of this error code on microsoft store so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel